In this lesson, we'll start creating the stitches. So as you can see here, we have this kind of like cross stitching that we have here. So for this, Substance has a really nice set of stitches here. Like you have different options here, where you have like complex stitches, cross stitches, and straight stitches. And with this one, we will be able to get like pretty nice results. There is an automatic way of doing stitches that you could do like something like this, for example, add like a fill layer. And then if you come here, you add a black mask and then you go here to generator and in generator, there is an automatic stitches uh, option. But the problem with this one is that it's only for these type of stitches and it doesn't work with cross ones. So for us, it, that this wouldn't work, right? So for example, here we could, we could change this kind of stuff, like the pass position, the size and stuff like that, but not it, it won't work for what we are looking for. So this one, I will delete this. And I will create a, a paint layer. I will make it, I will put in a group, okay? I will put these stitches. And here in our paint layer, that also will rename also stitches. We will start, we'll select this, this, uh, this um, brush. And if we see here, let's try, like how it looks. See? see, when we do this, we have like, see, it's, they're really nice, these stitches, because like from, from a reasonable distance, they look like pretty real. And also you can get, in our case, we have the seams already, but you can get, you can create the seams directly. So for example, if, if in our case, we want to get like seams crossed like this. See, in, in my case now I'm, I'm using the lazy mouse one. So, because if I don't use the lazy mouse, this gets like a bit like kind of like uh, warbly, let's say. If I put the lazy mouse, I will decrease a bit the distance. And for example, if we want to cross some stitches from here to here, uh, I think this 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 looks great. And maybe maybe I will use this technique somewhere, maybe in the back or something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe here on the side in one of these ones. But here looks that there is like some kind of stitches there. So maybe maybe I will do that there. But so for now, what I want to show you is like this, the different options that we have with this. So if we come here, we can see that we have this, like the stitch selection. So well, this this is, I went to the bottom part of the brush settings, okay? And if I come here, we have here, okay, the options like color, roughness, metal, and normal, like metalness we don't need, but color, high, rough, and normal, I think it's okay. And uh, let's check how it works with uh, height instead of normal. Yeah, we have this, but I think I, I prefer it with with the normal one. I, I think it looks looks nicer. So I will go here and try to not do both at the same time because it will look quite awkward. But if we do just the normal one, I think that will be okay. I think any of both could be good. Just make sure to use only one of them. So I will delete this. I'll create a new one. I'll put here. I'll make sure to make it selected and put it in the group. And here I'll put stitches. And I will go to our stitch options here. And what I was showing you is that you have the stitch, stitch selection here where you can do like cross. You can do cross diagonal, for example. You can do cross straight. And you have different options here, right? So. The ones that we will use here is like, instead of doing like a cross one, because if we do, if we do, let me, let me go to the normal cross. We are getting a kind of a nice result here, but it's not what we are having in our reference, right? In our reference, there is like kind of a cross one, but you see that it goes from one side to the other one and then stops in the line because here it goes inside the fabric and then goes out again. In this one, it looks that the, the thing, it goes like this. So for us, it will be like really much easier to put these stitches and that's it. But what we will do is we will do like a mix between two stitches. So it will be kind of a manual work, but I think it will be worth it at the end. So I will go, instead of the cross one, I will go to the overhead tight here. I will make sure here you have different heads. So I will show you here, which is this one. So this is like this. So see, it's, it's kind of like more this directionality how we have. So let me let me give you an example here. We have this here. And then here we have the option of thread type that we can change this. So I will change like you, you can you can test this stuff. But in our case I will choose the I think I will choose this one, the loose one. 
or let me see, maybe, let me see the theme for it. I will go back here. I think I want here, as you see, apart from check, uh, changing the stitches uh, selection and the stitches, the thread type, we can change here the puncture uh, intensity. So if we see here, we can select this, like kind of like the ambient occlusion that it does, right? To show where are the holes. And then the other thing that you can check is that if you have a, a seam here, uh, let me put the seam in one. So if you go down here, you can get the seam also. But as we have the seam already, we don't care so much about that. But I will keep the seam like just a tiny bit. Let's see, uh, that's not, not enough. So something like this, I think will be cool. Even slightly more. Yeah, like that. So at least I know more or less if I'm going right with the seam or not, right? So we can go like this. I think something like this would be cool, yeah. That's cool. And then in advanced parameters, that's something that we didn't check yet, um, we can do the stitch size length. So I will put this in one because I want it like the longest as possible. So I think something like this would do more or less what we have in our reference. Let me see if I go here. And, uh, something like this. Yeah, maybe it could be a bit bigger. Let me see if I go to our brush size and I put it in three. Let me see if this gets bigger. Uh, yeah, that gets bigger. So what I would do is I would put this to 2.5 and I think that would be nicer, let me see. Yeah, I think that looks good. Like from far, you kind of see that there are stitches, but it's not like super evident. And from here, you can see it like nicer. So now that we have it like this, what I will do is I will come again to our color, and then I will come here and select one of these kind of dark ones. Uh, let's try now, if I close this, let's try now how this looks. So yeah, this looks much better because now we are getting this effect. Let's see, we have more of the same color. And we can always apply to this layer. We can always apply like an HSL or something like that. But I think like this, I'm kind of happy with this. Maybe I will add a bit more saturation here. So I'm going to our stitches layer. I will start painting this. So for this, I will, again, I will stop this here and I will show you the time loss of this because it will take me some time to do it. Thank you. 